my guest is a little bit different background, but I think it's a really good subject to talk about. Um, so I have Jerome this week from Mellow Multimedia. Jerome, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Jerome. I'm a filmmaker and video strategist, and I own uh, Mellow Multimedia, which is a full video production company. And we work local in the Twin Cities as well as nationwide, if the budget permits. And then <clears throat> what I mean by full video production is we do the pre-production, the production, the post-production. And basically that's just, you know, we can we come up with the video marketing strategy for your business and uh, what your business needs, what kind of, you know, where is your target audience hanging out, what channels, and uh, we shoot it and we edit it. And when, then we give you the deliverables. Nice, so you do the whole thing. So you, you the, there's that, that, that kind of comes with the whole package of shooting the video, which sometimes you may have somebody else edit the video, you're saying, but you can handle that as well. And then, uh, like, I guess, publishing or, or putting out the video too? Uh, so we just give you the deliverables. We, we give okay. you, you know, on the <clears throat> on the pre-production, we know we find out where is your target audience hanging out. So we just give you the blueprint, and then once we give you the video, then you know what steps to take. Okay. So, uh, like, what are some of the videos that you've made? I know. I think I've seen like a car or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I've done uh, commercial stuff. I've done corporate stuff, like talking heads, interviews, okay. um, explain our videos. Lately, sure. I've been selling um, or offering business cards, like just like in a video format, like who you are, what you do, why you do it, and a call ah. to Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask about that. Uh, so how, if, if I were to make like a video business card, um, like what's the typical video length for something like that? I'm, I'm assuming it's short, right? Yeah, so it has to be 90 seconds to two minutes. Otherwise, people are not going to yeah. brown. And uh, okay. it has to be like very dynamic and there has to be a lot of visuals. So we... Sure. We shoot a you know talking hat and then we shoot b-roll on top of that with like either yourself and your client your customers so the person who watches us uh they can see themselves and they can connect with you and the person that you're servicing on the video and then you know it makes it it, it makes it easier for them to emotionally connect with the video yeah so that's really cool because i think about i was just looking through my old i think i have them here you know i've got some of these old business cards um but i was thinking like it seems outdated you know it seems like like we've gone past that sort of thing i still look at them sometimes but it's like you can lose them or how do you sort them out that sort of thing so the whole video uh business card that sounds like a really cool idea mm -hmm. yeah that's just uh it's Fairly recent, started yeah. years ago. So, yep, yep, cool. Okay, so that leads right into what I wanted to talk about. So, uh, you know, we talk about remote work or how to remote work effectively in manufacturing. You got a little bit different background than manufacturing, but the video portion I think really, really is important in today's market. Um, in uh, creating videos, whether it's like like you're talking about marketing, uh, training videos, it's a huge thing. Um, you know, anything like that, and like uh, conveying information in video form uh, is just so much more powerful, I think, than like traditional ways that we've done. So um, what, you know, what would you say to someone who's like, uh, like a company who, who thinks that a video isn't important? I think video, it's like, well, the statistics say otherwise, you know. Um, yeah. Video is king right now, and uh, people are more uh, willing to share a video to family or friends than share 
an article on a website or like a, you know because people are not reading we consume so much video every day so it's yeah. people are just used to watching videos and sharing it on social media right away and i think there's a difference between like personal brand and a company brand but i think every company should be merging both of them and the way you can do that with video it's like doing you can do it with your phone you have a camera on it you can do a daily vlogs you know updates behind the scenes stuff so i think uh yeah every company should be doing video right now otherwise you're just gonna get stuck in the past pretty much yeah i think so i think that kind of le like that's a lot of the the similar things that i'm trying to do in manufacturing is bring it into this century and not be stuck in the past. Like there, in manufacturing just in general is a real, you know, I would say a conservative sector in terms of uh, we don't need to change or, or like very changing very slowly. Um, and so a lot of the things that I've been working on the last you know, five, 10 years have been trying to push big changes. So video fits right into that. Um, I, I think like another thing you said is like connection with a brand, right? So that it seems like it would be, a, you can connect much better through video, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, it also depends on the company, I guess, like if you either you're like B2B or B2C, but yeah. even so people are more used to buying from people and you got to build that trust and that relationship and video really helps doing that. Yeah, so um, another thing kind of along all these lines, like a big thing that I've been pushing uh, personally is training. Um, so uh, traditional ways that I've seen training, you know, at, at manufacturing facilities um, is there's a big manual. So it's a big, thick book and mm -hmm. you look through it and it's like, okay, look for the procedure for running you know, whatever product or whatever machine and you look through and it's this big, long thing. Um, it's like a book basically. And, you know, all the information is there. You can say that, but um, it's not dynamic, right? It's not, it's, it's, uh, it's when you look at how to convey information to a person, I can't remember where I saw this, but I saw there's like a hierarchy of what's the best way to teach someone something. Mm -hmm. And at the top, it's like, it's like me and you, and we're at a whiteboard, right? And, and when we're drawing stuff out, we can, you know, you can ask me questions, I can answer them, I can draw things. That's like the top end. Now we can't do that with everyone, right? We can't necessarily say, I'm going to take every person one on one and train them. So, you know, you, you kind of come down. And, you know, the next one might be just me and you talking, and then we get we get lower and lower. Uh, we get to but video is, is somewhere in the middle. Like you can show a video of something and it's explained so much more. Uh, the, the one at the bottom, the very, you know, what they would say the worst way is a written document <laughs> because it's like, it's just a bunch of words. You can't right. ask it any questions. It, there's no, a lot of times there's no pictures. Sometimes you can add pictures, but it just doesn't uh, convey the, the same amount of information. So, um, so anyway, that's what, you know, and I, I just posted something today on LinkedIn that was, uh, it was a guy doing how to do push-ups. you know, really simple, but it was one minute long and it was like going from, I don't know how to do a push-up to 50 push-ups in a row. And he explained the whole thing in one minute, how to do it. Um, it's just so powerful to do something that way. So uh, anyway, that's a long ramble, but um trying to, to move from those type of documents to videos to explain things is the way we need to go. Like when I go to learn something, um, you know, I want to fix something on my car. What's the first thing I do, right? You know, you go to YouTube and you, you type it in, right? Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, so I guess w what I wanted to, to talk a little bit more about is making videos. So um, say like, you know, I want to make a training video on something. Um, I can show it being done or whatever, but maybe we could talk through how to make a videos. So if you have any tips, so 
especially like a training video. I mean, do you have any thoughts to to uh, impart us with? Yeah, so you basically mean like as a company or as a person that wants to make a training video? Just whatever you're doing, yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking as a company, but but as a person too, there's a lot of people that are the, they act as the face of the company or as the training, you know, whatever and they are making personal videos about how to do things. There's a lot of great, obviously there's a lot of great ones out there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, um, so for training videos, I think it's a little trickier because for example, sometimes you're reading something like a manual and then, you know, it, it might say like, turn it this way or like, and you may yeah. not get it. And so, what I picture is like if you're gonna make a training video, then you may need like two cameras, a close up of like whatever that you're doing with your hands, and then one that's like actually talking to the audience. Um, just because you know, some questions may come up and if you're not close enough to whatever they're doing, then you're like, Okay, what did he do? Why you no? Know? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then audio, it's good. Uh, audio, audio is important. Otherwise, people are just. I'm probably gonna get a badge for this because I don't have a mic. But uh, it just people are. They don't tend to stick around if the audio is too bad. Yeah. So getting good mics is good, and then right after that, lighting it's important, especially if you're working on something, right? Like a a training video like we're talking about and yeah need some lighting and i could go in depth about lighting but that's kind of it's just gonna <laughs> bore whoever's gonna watch this yeah so i i'm thinking like the people who are making videos are not going to be experts at lighting right so right. but just in general like like the people that i'm i'm uh, the audience that i have in mind but i love the idea of two cameras or maybe you do two videos if you have just one camera right you do one far away explain the whole thing and then you do another one real close up and then you could you could edit it afterwards and we'll talk about editing in a bit because I think some people might get scared about that too but it's not mm -hmm. as hard as you think um but so so yeah that those are great tips audio um is there and maybe we can talk about this editing too so if, if you don't have your audio right you could probably fix that later right you can fix some of it yeah um okay. it's just it's just really hard with like this uh so the little mics that i like like a lavalier mic the one you okay on, those are made to just get your voice but like this mics like on the computer on your phone they're stereo so they get yeah. all the things around so you could fix it up a little bit, but it's not gonna be great. okay. But but those mics you're talking about, what is it called? Lavalier mic? Yeah, lavalier mic. The ones that you just clip on. Um, okay. I might have one laying around, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> they're probably well, I'm just guessing here. Like if if you don't have one, they're probably not too expensive, right? So okay, so let's uh rewind back. <laughs> so you can they uh rode it's a audio company that just make like mics and all kinds of mics and stuff mm -hmm. uh, audio equipment and they have this little clip on mic that goes straight to your phone okay on the wire and so it's like maybe like two or five feet long so you can actually you know if you're you don't have a camera all you have is your phone then you can just Put your phone on a ring light. They sell those on Best Buy for like 40 bucks. Yeah. And then you just plug that in and that, there you go. You have a good mic. Okay, sweet. That's another thing though, the ring light. Uh, like I see some people using those. Um, those are just good for overall lighting or for personal lighting. What are what are those used for? Um, they're kind of called like beauty lighting. So yeah. like beauty sets, they set up like big lights like this. So they get like 
they soften the face a lot and then you can see all the features okay. and so that's basically what a, what a ring light does kind of gets and they're for use for like vlogging and stuff like that you know like okay vlog. it's good for close-ups right yeah okay. Mm -hmm. okay that makes sense all right um okay so yeah so i guess the the tips just to kind of summarize some of the stuff we're talking about um get close up where you need to especially with those details and i can think of a lot of times you know in in uh my past where it's like you need to get close up and show whatever the the equipment is and uh -huh. exactly what you're doing with it um so maybe shoot that twice or have two cameras the other thing is microphones so um if you don't have a microphone like you can just like you said you can just use your phone to make videos um but you may need to consider the uh, the audio and do you have good audio or not if not just there's microphones out there you can get um uh okay so let's talk about um once you shoot out a video maybe some of this editing stuff because uh i think a lot of people like me like i'm i'm, I'm a novice with this type of stuff I don't know, like, okay, you can shoot a video and then you can you can fix some stuff afterwards. So you don't have to make some things perfect or you can cut things out or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed like on your site, you have some videos in there that show, you probably already have video editors on your phone or on your, on your computer. Like you already have them there. You don't need to buy mm -hmm. software. I mean, now you probably, if you want to get in depth and like for professional, you probably want to get some nicer stuff. But for just cutting videos, you already have things, right? Yeah. So uh, Macs have iMovie, and then uh, Windows, they actually, they used to have um, Movie Maker, but they discontinued that, and now they have like a very, very basic one that I wouldn't recommend, but if that's all you got, then yeah. you can work with it. And I have tutorials for both of them. And there's also like, uh, a good one that I'm planning to make a tutorial on is uh, Filmora. So that one's a free one. And from what I've heard, it's like pretty good. It has a lot of the, the features that a, you know, a paid one has. Okay. And then on your phone, you also have, I think, not 100% sure about this, but I think you can you have iMovie on yeah. iPhone. Yep. Yeah. And then you can also download like, um, Premiere Rush, uh, which is part of Adobe, which is a paid like software that you can get that you have like After Effects and all this other stuff. But okay. Premiere Rush is free, and then you can use it on your phone. Yeah, and and that stuff uh, it's not as hard as you would think, right? To to edit that, and if if you don't know, again, go back to training. There's videos like you've made. If you don't know how to use it, go find a video and you know, you can do that. So like, what what's some of the stuff that you might cut out, you know, maybe there's a part that doesn't make sense to the flow of the video or some audio or some things like that that don't make sense. What what kind of stuff are you usually cutting out of yours? Um, Just like, you know, if you messed up saying something or um, you, like we said, you have two cameras or you, you shot yeah. two, and angles and you can uh stitch them together uh you know cut away between the two yeah um yeah it really depends on what kind of video it also yeah. depends if i guess it's different but trying to make it as short as you can like two minute stops unless it's something that requires a longer time then it's fine but just keep it quick and simple and be informative whenever you're like actually making these training videos. Yeah. And I think about that too. I was, I was going to ask about that. Um, it, if it seems like it would be better to make more small videos rather than one long video. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. kind of depends on your strategy, I guess, like uh -huh. what, what you're trying to do with the video and what you're, your strategy for training is, but it seems like it would be better to have more small videos that you can go look. And then if you don't remember, it's easy to find that small video of what the little task was, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you make a longer video too, 
I mean, you put it on YouTube, I know you can actually like, uh, you can clip like every single, like wherever you're answering each question. So where, yep. I, I don't know what that's called, but I know you can do that on YouTube. Yeah, and, it's like bookmarks or I can't remember what they're called, but yeah. 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 And then also, if you're gonna put your uh, videos on YouTube, v, be very descriptive under the description. Just tell people what they're gonna get from it and why they should be watching your video in the first place. Because they may watch it and then they're like, okay, he didn't solve my problem. So this yeah, like- Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's, so there's all different ways to use YouTube. So you could use it as marketing or outreach, right? <laughs> for your own brand or for your own thing. You could even put, make, put private videos. I think there's still people out there that don't know this, that you can make private videos that only you or people who have the link can, can use. So if you really mm-hmm. wanted to, you know, again, this might sound a little bit out there to some people, but if you really wanted to put all your training videos for your site on YouTube and only have certain people access it, you could do that. It's, it would work yeah. fine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I know some people might get a little nervous about that, but it's, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, that's great. So, so this is a great discussion. Uh, just a real kind of primer on video, the importance of video, why you should get in the video game, right? If you're not, um, you have anything more, uh, anything more to bring up? I think we kind of touched everything, right? Is anything else you want to bring up on, on video other than your, your services? I think uh, I kind of touch on it, but whenever you make your videos, kind of strategize before making them and like think about who's going to watch it and why they're going to watch it. So just keep that in mind and who your target audience is. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, this is kind of like other things, right? You, you set the goal and, and you understand who who it's for and what the actual target and the, and the goal is before you do uh-huh. it. Makes a lot of sense. Don't just make any, yeah. <laughs> Don't just make anything and, and throw it out there, yeah. Uh-huh. And also, um, this might be a little, a little advanced, I don't think so, but um, if you've been in business for a little bit, you know what SEO is, and yeah. that is, yeah, search engine optimization. And uh, lately, there's, you know, a bunch of statistics about this that YouTube is the second largest search engine uh, web in the world, like web, uh, you know, website or whatever. Yeah. And and they're owned by Google, which is the first one. So if you put your videos on YouTube and you do some keyword research to use on your description, you tell exactly to the audience what your, on your title, what the video is about, then there's a high chance of you showing up on Google and rank higher in case someone's looking for your services or that specific specific video. Yeah, no, that's a great thing to bring up because um, I think a lot of people know about it, but there's still some people that don't know that there's there's a whole game in terms of getting your the stuff that you want to end up being the top search result when somebody searches for something. So they uh-huh. search whatever, you know, if I'm searching on a car, uh, you know, I need to uh, fix the muffler or something. Um, there's a whole strategy in terms of like, if you wanted your video to be the top one that came up when somebody typed that into the search bar, that's called SEO, search engine optimization. And there's, like you said, there's, there's it's different for YouTube versus Google, right? It depends on the search engine, but there's, it's like, you know, we could have uh, tons and tons of videos just on that topic itself. So just know that that's out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically, I mean, it's just because Google owns YouTube. So whenever, like, Google crawls uh, the web for to answer this one question that somebody asks in, you know, Florida or whatever, then... If your video it's on if that YouTube video it's on YouTube and on your website, 
then Google might find it and rank you higher. So, yeah. Right. Yep. And it's a, uh, again, it's a, it's a way that you could start marketing, you know, right now, basically for free, as long as you have right. equipment, you can start making videos about your business, you know, right now and start putting them out there. So it's mm -hmm. something that everyone should take advantage of. Right. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yep, definitely. All right. So, but if you want to, if you want a real nice professional video, uh, Mela Multimedia is, is your place to be, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just hit me up. Um, you know, I do free consultations and then we come up with, I figure it out what your pain points, where are your customers falling off through your, their, you know, their uh, sales funnel journey. And yeah. You know, we figured out what your business needs as in terms of video. So, yeah, we'll have a link uh, in this video to to your site and your services. So, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it. I uh, hope this was informative for everyone. Um, and if you have questions, let me or or uh, Jerome know. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, thanks.